In this video, we want to find the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over sine x minus 1 over x. Let's bring this all into one fraction. So get a common denominator of x times sine of x. We're going to multiply the first fraction by x, second fraction by sine of x. Combine these into one fraction as x minus sine of x over x times sine of x. From here, if we plug in 0, we get 0 over 0. So we're going to use L'Hopital's rule, which means take the derivative of the top and the bottom. The derivative of the top is 1 minus cosine of x. The derivative of the bottom, we have to use a product rule, which is sine of x plus x times cosine of x. Now we can factor out x times cosine of x from the bottom. And so that gives us sine of x over x times cosine of x plus 1. From here, we can split this up. So we have cosine of x as one of the factors. So think of that as like 1 over cosine of x. And then we have 1 minus cosine of x over x as a second factor. And then the third factor is the sine of x over x cosine x plus 1. That one is in the denominator, so we're just going to do 1 over that. And this is just using the product rule of the limits. We know the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 cosine of x is 1. So now it just comes down to solving these two limits. At this step, I'm going to combine these into one limit, which is really just uh, taking the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over x and dividing it by the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x cosine x plus 1. And now we can break this up. We can factor out the 1 over cosine of x from the denominator. That gives us sine of x over x plus cosine of x. Now we break this up further by using the product rule. So basically this factor here is part of the new limit. Now the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over x. This one is, you just have to memorize a 0. You can obviously prove it by using L'Hopital's rule, but this one along with the sine x over x are the two main ones that you have to memorize. Regardless, that one is 1. 1 over cosine of x goes to 1, and so does cosine of x. So we have 0 over 1 times 1 plus 1, which is just 0. And that is our answer.